Welcome to Critical Encounters Gameplay Stream. I am your live villainous host, Steve. Okay, I'm not live, but I'm using actual real cards instead of playing on Octagon. And today is Magneto Day. It is Villain Appreciation Day. Yes, yesterday my local friendly game store had the Magneto pack in stock. And I have picked it up. I have sleeved it. And I'm going to play with the Precon. And we're going to take on uh, Claw. Standard. One. No expert or anything of the sort. And we're just going to give it a go. We're going to see what we get. Okay, I have played this once so far. Um, so at least I have a little bit of idea what's going on. So we're going to play with Claw. We're going to play with Standard. We're going to put the Hellfire Club in as our modular set, which is, comes in the back of the pack. And we've got Magneto's Obligation. So let's put them in and shuffle them up. While I'm doing that, we'll refresh everybody on Claw out of the core box. On Standard, he has 12 health per player. So let's set that. Not a whole lot going on there. Um, he is a 2. 0 attack, 0 attack. Yes, but when he attacks, he gets one additional boost card. Okay. Underground Distribution. So we're playing on standard. We put our one modular set in instead of Masters of Evil. And set up, we're going to search the encounter deck and for defense network side scheme. So let's do that now before I forget. Defense network side scheme, which is a crisis to threat and it has, ha it has a hinder before hinder was a thing where they typed it all out. So that means it's going to be at three. Okay. All right, and we're going to flip over our underground distribution. When revealed, discard cards from the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that minion into play. Engage with the first player. Okay. Okay. All right, we're going to discard until we hit a minion. Oh, first card is a armored guard. Pretty classic. Now, that was a uh, fast. And armored guard is guard and tough. All right, Magneto, here we go. This is what everybody cares about. Eric Lencher, Magnus, depending on, you know, we did a little show on him already. Response, after you change to this form, shuffle the top three cards of your discard pile into your deck. Okay, six hand size, 10 health. Off we go. All right, six hand size. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the leadership precon that he comes with. And I'm going to see what I can do about my hand down here. We've got Kid Omega, Noble Sacrifice, Magnetic Bubble, Magnetic Missile, Mag, the Cape, and a second Noble Sacrifice. Okay. Looks good. All right. Uh, his Cape lets him ready, which is pretty nice. The Bubble is defense. Noble Sacrifice. I'm going to mulligan both of them. Um, he's kind of interesting. I'm going to pitch the... Oh, that, it's good when you get... I'm going to pitch the bubble too. Okay. So I'm going to draw three new ones. Ooh, his Helmet, which is a resource generator. Another Noble Sacrifice. And Asteroid M. Oh, a lot of good setup cards here. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. Um, no resource cards, though. Well, this one, but man, it's expensive. All right, let's flip. And let's use his ability? No, let's try to get his cape out. So his cape is after you resolve his magnetic pull ability, you get to ready. So he's a 2 2 2, two five hand size, X-Man. Magnetic pull. Action. Discard cards from the top of your deck until a magnetic card is discarded. Add that card to your hand limit once per round. I do not need to defend my decisions. So if I'm going to use it this turn... Alright, let's pitch these two. Yeah, this might be an all-setup turn. Alright, I'm going to discard two cards to put out the cape. Then I'm going to use his magnetic pull ability. No. Ready. Okay, so he will thwart for two. Off the defense network. Then I will use his magnetic pull ability. There's like little dots on my cards. Hmm. 
So I'm going to discard until I hit a magnetic card. Def focus. Metal shards. Okay. All right. Really good. Does a lot of damage, etc., etc. But I use my magnetic pull, so I will exhaust the cape to ready Magneto. Oh, I resource-wise, I should have done that a little different, huh? Should have played the helmet. Oh well, kind of goof myself up here. Hmm. Well, let's thwart. Let's get rid of Defense Network completely because it is a crisis. Um, boy, I don't. Yeah, all right. I'll pitch these two to play Kid Omega, but I don't have any resources to do anything with him. I'll use Kid Omega to hit the tough. Okay. I will ready up and end my turn. So Kid Omega has a response that you can trigger by spending resources to do stuff, which would have been nice. All right, five cards. You got this. Def Focus won't stay down. You got this. And Electromagnetic Blast. So I know people are already talking about this. They printed this Def Focus with the protection in the corner instead of basic. So interesting. An odd typo. Must have been uh, formatting... A different card and then moved over to this one and just kept going all right it's claw's turn i'm gonna put one threat on the main scheme claw is going to attack with two boost cards hmm i have 10 health i'm gonna just take it this time a star are oh, you supposed to do one at a time all right nothing and a star after this activation, the activating enemy activates against you again. Do not give it a boost card for that activation. Okay. So he's attacking for zero. I take no damage. He will activate again and get no boost card. But he gains an additional boost card. So it doesn't say cards. It says do not give it a boost card. When claw attacks, give him one additional boost card. So... I'm going to take it with one boost card. With a star. Discard an ally you control. Celine from Hellfire. Well, just straight up discard. There goes Kid Omega. Okay. Still no damage. Uh, it's still zeros. And then the armor guard will attack, and I'll take one. Okay. Okay. Interesting. That was Claw's attack. Which was, which was a boost chain. Now I get an encounter card. Which is an armored guard. Okay. Whew. Okay, okay. My turn. Uh, let's pitch a you got this and bring out a deft focus. Interesting. I won't stay down unless you play only if you are X Force or X Men. Max one per player. Oh, it's a support. Alter ego action. Okay. This removes threat. All right. Let's punch this one guy for two. Let's use his magnet ability. His magnetic pull. Very first card, magnetic missile. I have to have wrapped in metal on somebody to use magnetic missile. Discard a minion with wrapped in metal attached, which I don't have that card. All right, I used his magnetic pull. I'll use his cape to ready. I think I'll attack for another two. Let's get rid of this armored guard. Uh, I can throw it for three. Won't stay down to your hand. Okay. Oh, it's an alter ego though. Yeah. I pay, pay to put pay to put this out. Then go get him and I can put him out again. Alright. Alright, I'll spend one with for a magnetic missile for I won't stay down, which is a support with the alter ego action. I'll flip the alter ego. And then I get to shuffle the top three cards of my discard pile into my deck. Which is magnetic missile. You got this. Oh. <laughs> and Kid Omega. Well I didn't time that very well, did I? 
used to the timings here. Okay. And I don't have anything in my discard pile. End of my turn, I'm going to discard... Uh, Actually, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to discard you got this at the end of my turn. Oh, where did Asteroid end? Must have... Okay. It was, in my, it was in my discard pile. All right, drawing ready. Draw six. Wrapped in metal. Squared off. Armor. Wrapped in metal. Of course. Blast. Okay. All right, one threat on the main scheme. Claw will scheme for two and a boost. One more, so he'll scheme for three. And then armor guard schemes for zero. So I'm at five out of six on the main scheme. I'm getting an encounter card. An advance, of course it's an advance. So he will scheme for two. And a star. If this activation deals damage, you exhaust your hero. It does not. But it does put two threat on. That's going to top out. And underground distribution is going to pop. Okay. All right. So, secret rendezvous. When revealed, discard cards from the encounter deck until a minion is discarded. Put that minion into play and engage with the first player. Caught off guard. Claws vengeance. Weapons runner. It's put into play, not revealed, so the surge doesn't trigger. Okay. That was encounter card. That was the advance, so we're weapons runner isn't going to scheme or anything. We're not at that point in the game. It is my turn. Just making sure. Yeah, no allies in there. I got wraps in metal. Blast, maybe just armor. Huh. All right, let's flip. Um, I want to wrap somebody in metal here. So, squared off, that's interesting. That lets you go fetch a minion to play an ally. All right, let's spend uh, Electromagnetic Blast and a squared off to put out the Magneto's armor. But his, uh, his art, it's like all over the frame, the cards and everything. So the armor, it's armor magnetic. After you resolve magnetic pull ability, if you discard at least one of the following resource icons, Mental, get plus one thwart. Physical, get plus one attack. Energy, get plus one defense. So you can buff by using this. You can ready by using that. Okay. Two attack into weapons runner. All right. I will use magnetic pull now. Won't stay down. New recruits. That's a neat side scheme. Strength. Looking for a magnet card. Master of Magnetism, which is a magnetic resource card. Okay. I will... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I spent... I got a physical, a mental... Physical and a mental. So, plus one thwart, plus one attack this turn. I'll use the cape to ready. So now he's a 3-3-2. Three, three, I'll spend a Master of Magnetism to wrap the Armored Guard in metal. Hero form only attached to a non-elite minion. Attached minion cannot activate. Treat its printed te text box as if it were blank. It doesn't even say traits or anything, so it's completely blanked. Uh, so he doesn't have the tough, he doesn't have guard, any of that sort of stuff. Okay, I'm a three attack. I'll attack for three. 12 to a nine. Um... Electromagnetic Blast doesn't really help me any. Wrapped in Metal. They're both interesting, though, so I'm going to keep them. Okay, ready. Squared off. You got this. I need some allies. White Queen, there's one. Oh, Daniel, I love that. Wow, the White Queen. Okay, I'm not going there. 
One threat. Claw's going to attack for two and a zero and a double boost. I'm just going to take it. Uh, zero on that one and a star. But Hellfire Pawn into play, engage with you. Okay. So he's hitting for zero. All right. This guy's blanked and doesn't activate. A Hellfire Pawn is guard, patrol, and surge. But he was put into play. Uh, we're in the activation phase, so he'll attack for two, and I'll just take it. Okay. Counter card. An assault. Villain attacks you. One more time, I'm just going to take it. Oh, three, four. All right, this time I get hit for four. All right, I'm down to three health. Okay. All right, all right, all right. White Queen, only play for X-Men or X-Force. After she enters play, discard a status card from a character. Uh, not a whole lot going on here. I, I don't want to square off. That focus is only good for certain types. All right, so right now he's a two. All right, I'll hit this pawn for two no ah, boy all right let's wrap the metal with this squared off and you got this okay cancel that guy too so now there's no guards out i'll attack for two i will use my pull energy Fist, um, discarded. Yep, okay. So he's a uh, two, three, three, and I got metal shards. I'll use this to ready Magneto. Metal shards, deal seven damage to an enemy. If this tech defeats an enemy, gain a tough status card. So death focus, plus two more, because it is a superpower, for three damage to deal seven damage to claw. Which will defeat him. And I will gain a tough. We will go to claw version 2. So he's up to 18 health. When revealed, search the deck and discard pile for immortal claw. Reveal it. Shuffle. I saw it in here. Immortal claw. which is a three threat side scheme with acceleration and he gets 10 hit points. So he's up to 28. Okay. I'm going to flip and I'm going to recover for three. Oh, when I flip, I'm going to put the top three cards of my deck, top three cards. So that's a metal shards, a white queen and electromagnetic blast shuffle into my deck. After you change to this form, shuffle the top three cards of your discard pile into your deck. Okay. Then I'll recover for three. Okay. Discard pile to my hand. Okay. Ready up. Six cards. Another deft focus. Master magnetism. I won't stay down. Max one propeller. White queen. Oh, who I just shuffled back in. Electromagnetic blast. Cyclops. Cool. So you could pay for him and then use this to get him back. That's You can use him as a resource and get the card back. So that's nice. Okay. There's an acceleration out. So two threat. This could be dangerous. Claw's going to scheme for two. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Oh, I lost. 
five, a five. Oh my goodness. I didn't think I would get a five. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's game one. Stay tuned. Now let's do game two in a second. Welcome back. Hulkbuster. Anyways. Sorry, this is a Lego for my kids. Um, game two. I have reset. I'll cut on camera. Same setup as the first game. Let's see. I have to discard until I get a minion. We've got Defense Network out already. Inner Circle. Ooh, Hellfire Pawn. Somebody different. Guard, Patrol, and Surge. Put that minion into play. Okay. All right. In my opening hand. Hey, Kid Omega. You got this. I won't stay down. Energy. Strength. Noble Sacrifice. All right. I'm going to pitch these three. Um, you got this. Squared off. And the cape again. Okay. Let's spend a strength to put out the cape. Let's flip. Let's use his ability. Discard till we hit a magnetic card. Master of Magnetism. Okay. Sure. I will... Oh, yeah, I see where... That's too bad that you're choosing... And you couldn't use this to do both. Okay. I'll spend the energy to play Kid Omega. After Kid Omega enters play, choose. Spend an energy resource, deal one damage to each enemy, or a mental to remove one threat from each scheme. So let's spend... Well, since I don't have any mental, I guess I'll spend the energy to do one damage to each enemy okay oh wait I use this supposed to thwart for two use the cape to ready yep rewind okay because I, I gotta use them before because of this okay alright kid omega will attack for two that'll take out this hellfire pawn Magneto will finish off that. And then... Discard cards from the encounter. I don't want that. So I'm going to pitch that at the end of my turn. And uh, ready up. Okay. I'll slow down a little. Sorry. Death focus. Cool. You got this. That's neat. I won't stay down. And magnetic bubble. Alright. One threat. He's going to attack for zero and two boosts. Which I'm going to not defend. Star, if this activation deals damage to you, exhaust your hero. Well, we'll see. Star again. After this activation, the activating enemy activates again. Do not give it a boost card. Okay, so I stay zero damage, so I do not have to exhaust. It will. He will attack a second time without the regular boost, but he does get the boost from this. That's how I'm playing it, and I'm not going to defend again. Two. There goes my obligation. That was his attack. Counter card. Weapons runner will surge into a gang up. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good surge. Okay, Claw gets two of these. I'm going to defend this time for two. Zero and a two. Okay, so he, two versus two, I take no damage. Weapons runner attacks for one. I take that one. That was from the gang up. My turn. Okay, I want this bubble. All right, but I am exhausted, so let's use let's use this ability. Well, oh, face the pass is going to be so much fun. All right, magnetic Magneto's armor is my magnet card that goes into my hand. When pitcher won't stay down for deaf focus. Oh, no, start, slow, slow. I used his ability, exhaust the cape, ready up.
Kid Omega will punch for two. Magneto will punch over here for two. Okay. I won't stay down. You got this for deaf focus. Master magnetism and I won't stay down for the bubble. I haven't played with the bubble yet. Magneto gains retaliate one, oh, which would be pretty good actually. Uh, force interrupt. When you would take any amount of damage, place it here. Then if there's at least six, discard the magnetic bubble. Okay. It is a superpower. Ooh, I don't have to spend that. Won't stay down. I'll use that. Then I'll use the armor to buy a won't stay down. End my turn. Ready? Draw five. M. I won't stay down. Def focus. New recruits. Def focus. So this is the why a lot of people don't like the pre-cons, right? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. But the cards in the decks are great. Okay. One threat. He's going to attack with two boost icons. I have the bubble, so I'm not going to defend. Star, if this activation deals damage to you, exhaust your hero. Star, put weapons runner into play, engage with you. I take no damage because they're both zero boosts. Weapons runner will attack for one. When you would take any amount of damage, put it here instead. Okay, it's not at six. Cool. Counter card and advance. It's going to scheme for two. Three, four, five. Of course. I have the bubble out. It doesn't do any damage, but when he schemes, he's putting five out. <clears throat> Underground distribution is going to advance. Discard cards from the encounter deck until minion is discarded. Put it into play. Celine. She's put into play. She is quick strike, villainous, and allies can't attack her. So quick strike still triggers. So she's going to attack for one, and she's villainous. Quick strike and villainous. She's ah, oh, we love that. <clears throat> I'm just gonna let her hit me. Two boost. Three. So three more over here. That's up to four. Still good. That was the advance, triggering the secret rendezvous, triggering the quick strike villainous Celine. We continue on. Okay. My turn. I won't stay down, doesn't help me any. Not really. All right, I'll punch Celine for two. I'll use his magnetic ability. Cyclops. Magnetic missile, okay. I'll use the cape to ready up. Magnetic missile, I have to have wrapped in metal, which I don't have. Let's spend four. To play M. M is interesting. Four cost, two thwart, three attack, four health, psionic, X-Men. Response. After M enters play, defeat a minion with fewer remaining hit points. I will defeat. I will defeat M. She has fewer she has only two remaining hit points. Okay. Magneto will attack for two into this weapons runner. And then M will punch for three with double consequential. Okay. I'm going to risk it. Oh, oh, and then I'm going to play new recruits. So this is a new side scheme, style side scheme with the word linked. So two threat, victory zero. Play only if your identity has an X-Men trait. When defeated, each player chooses one set aside ally and adds it to their hand. And then there are two cost allies that have pretty cool abilities. Um, you gotta time it because they only go to your hand. But still. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna flip. When I flip, I'm gonna take the top three cards, which kind of stink. Oh, two death focus. No, you know what? I'm not gonna trigger that ability. I don't want the death focus back in there. Yeah, done. That feels kind of bad.
One threat. It's going to scheme for two. Three, four, five. Every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. Okay. Boost card. Uh, encounter card. Assault, which surges. Into an armored guard. Guard and tough. Okay. Oh, I never drew my cards. <laughs> Asteroid M, electromagnetic blast, master magnetism, squared off, metal shards, and noble sacrifice. Okay. Metal shards is nice. This is good too. I like I like all of these. Okay. Let's spend the Master Magnetism and get Asteroid M out. And then let's use it. Exhaust, Alter Ego. Exhaust Asteroid M. Shuffle the topmost magnetic card in your discard pile into your deck and heal one damage from your identity. Which is Master Magnetism. Which I just used to pay for it. Heal one damage. I won't stay down. Let's do it. Oh, no. Let's do... Who do I have in here? Cyclops. Kid Omega. All right, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hmm. All right, let's use I Won't Stay Down on... Discard this card, return X-Force or X-Men from your discard pile to your hand. I'm going to grab... Kid Omega's only two, right? And he has his ability. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to flip... Then I'm going to thwart for two off of new recruits. Okay, so victory display. I want to put a knoll in my hand. Which, it's a 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 new X Men linked. If you have the mutant or X Men trait, a knoll gets plus one thwart and does not count against your ally limit. Okay. Like, I was trying to trigger. I need one more resource, huh? Hmm. Okay. I just thwarted. I'm going to use the magnet ability. Discard until I hit a magnetic card. Wrapped in metal. And I'll use the cape to ready up. Oh, that changes things a little. All right, I don't need that. I don't like this one. One, two. Let's wrap the armored guard up in metal, okay? There goes the guard, which is nice. So then I'll use Deft Focus, Electromagnetic Blast, and that Kid Omega I just fetched. This is a crazy roundabout way to do this. Uh, to play Metal Shards, deal seven damage to an enemy. If it defeats it, I'd get a tough, but it's not gonna defeat it. Oh, it is. Oh yeah. All right, he's at six, that takes him to zero. He's defeated. I get one of these. We go to level two. There was a stun in here, but I guess not. He goes to 18. We have to go get the Immortal Claw. Which 
still in the deck. Very next card. Okay. His health goes up by 10. Okay. Ammo thwart for two off the main. So it goes from six to a four. Magneto will thwart for two, taking it down to a two. I'll keep a null and be done. Hmm. Not a lot of space here. All right, second card. Yeah, I was going to thwart with her. I, I don't know. I, I don't have enough resources. Squared off. Maybe I have to try that. White queen. Helmet. Wrapped in metal. Okay. There's an acceleration, so two threat. I have a tough and I have a bubble. So I'm not going to defend. One, two. Into the tough. Tough's first. Okay, this guy is doesn't nothing doesn't count. One encounter card, which is an advance. Oh my goodness. It's gonna scheme for two, three. Hey, only three. One, two, three. So seven out of eight. Health's not an issue. Threat. <laughs> it's killing me. Um, all right, I'll thwart for two. I'll use the cape. Phoenix, electromagnetic blast. Oh, that's a three thwart, thwart removal. It also pulls off uh, enemy attachments, which I don't have. Use the cape to ready. I'd like to get the helmet out if I could. Could also play this. Could square off, bring somebody out, then hit him with a wrapped in metal. No, I threat threats my threats my worry. Okay, squared off and wrapped in metal. I want to drop in an, a knoll here, who is a three threat thwarter. So let's get rid of immortal claw and that acceleration. Knocks the health back down. Okay, takes one damage. I'll thwart for two. And M's gonna punch for three. One, two, three, and die. Okay, and then I can't get the helmet out. I don't want to hold on to stuff, so I'm going to spend two electromagnetic electro blast and remove three threat. And uh, if you if it removes the last threat from a scheme, you may discard an attachment with the text hero action or hero response, which is great. There aren't any. Oh, electromagnetic blast was a superpower, so I can use deaf focus. Thank you, everyone shouting, and keep the helmet in my hand. All right, let's end my turn. Helmet. Magnetic missile. Cool. Magnetic shards. Noble sacrifice. And my very last card, Master of Magnetism. So I decked. I'll get an encounter card. Oh, yeah, magnetic missile does a stun. Okay. Hey, and I got somebody wrapped up. And metal shards. If I can do four resources, one, two, oh yeah, I can hit for 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ah, all right, I have a win in my hand if I can survive. Okay, if I survive. One threat. I have the bubble, so I'm not going to defend. Two. Three, three damage onto the bubble. 
Then if there's at least six, discard the bubble. Yeah, the bubble's been pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I mean, six health. It's pretty sweet. All right. Armor Guard doesn't activate or do anything. Text box is blank. I get a second one. There's one card left in the deck. Sound Manipulation. Take two damage. Claw heals two damage. Oh, that's going to save his butt. Okay. He goes up to 17. I go down to six. All right, next one. Ooh, Sound Converter. After Claw attacks and damages a character, stun that character. Oh, here's where that one card would work. Spend one of each. Plus he gets plus one attack. Oh, he's plus one too, so really four damage on the bubble. Yeah, I forgot I flipped him. Okay. All right, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this. I will attack for two. Okay. I will use the Def Focus to play a magic missile. Discard a minion with wrapped in metal. All right, I'll discard the armored guard. And deal five damage to an enemy and stun it. Okay, five damage. And he becomes stunned. Okay. Oh, right. Cape, he's ready. Oh, I almost forgot. I can attack for two more. And Noel can attack for two and perish. And then I spend uh, these three for metal shards to deal seven damage to an enemy, which will oh, defeat him. You give me a tough. I that cape thing. Got to remember the cape. Oh, did I actually do it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I I had to actually do the ability first, which I did not. There we go. Use the ability, exhaust the cape, ready, Magneto, attack. Got all excited. All right, well, there it is. Magneto, his kit is really cool. There's some neat leadership cards in here. Um, but the pre-cons got a lot of duplicates of themselves, so that makes it always tricky. Got a cool looking, we already did Exodus, right? And the Martyr. And what we didn't get to see on our preview was Fabian Cortez, which is cool. Guard, the defeating player, discards the top four cards of their deck. Okay. Frenzy, quick strike. After attacks, you discard two more cards. Oh, you're really burning through Magneto's deck. Angry Acolyte. Each Acolyte engaged with the player activates. Oh, nice. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I had attacked for two. Then I use his ability, and I'm ready to attack him. Okay. It's okay. Thanks for watching. Go out get Magneto. He is a one of us masquerading in this white costume. Yeah, yeah. Thanks all. Bye-bye.